Some of the hallmarks of a good intubation include being really prepared before you start your attempt. You want to make sure all your equipment is ready to go. We've talked about ensuring that the laryngoscope blade is well lighted, the batteries are fresh. You want to make sure that you have oxygen flowing to your bag device, making sure that your cuff on your mask is inflated. And when you want to have your patient in the best prepared position by getting them very well oxygenated before you try your attempt. This involves maybe a little hyperventilation so that you can pink them up a little bit because they're not going to be breathing the whole time that you do your intubation attempt. Likewise, after you've had a successful intubation, you want to make sure that you are in the trachea. And there are several devices that we can use as well as making sure we visualize the tube going through the cords, make sure that we watch for rise and fall of the chest, we auscultate, and that's three-point auscultation over the right, left, and over the belly to make sure we don't hear borborygmy there. Then you can use uh, extra devices. One is our end tidal CO2 device. We want to make sure we see the change from the dark gray into the light sunshiny yellow. Likewise, we can use an esophageal intubation detection device. You place this over the tube, depress, and it should flow and open up easily. If the bulb stays suppressed, then you know you're probably in the esophagus. We also have electronic measures that are useful in verifying that we are uh, successfully in the trachea. We can use pulse oximetry. The nice thing about pulse oximetry is it gives you continuous feedback so you can monitor as things improve. It also lets you know if perhaps the tube has been displaced. Additionally, your facility may have the ability to do capnography as well.